Heaven always your name sing aloud And let this place erupt with praise Can you hear the sound of heaven touching The sound of heaven touching Oh,
chains were being broken off as we sang this And I feel it, I feel it so strong. So if you're in a position where you know you're in bondage, you're in something that you can't get out of, you're in something that's over your head, God, Almighty One, is here to deliver. He's here to break off the chains that are on. And if that's you, just, um, you don't even have to do anything. Well, do something. Lift up something, you know? Um, but we're just going to sing this over you. And I feel like there's freedom here today to break off the chains, whether they be injustice, whether it be disease, whether it be addiction. But I had to picture this on the walls like Jericho. They were just coming, tumbling down when that phrase was being spoken over you. We're just going to sing that out. Your spirit break out. Break our walls down Spirit break out Heaven come down Walls of addiction The walls of oppression The walls that imprison They're coming down Oh 
Had a uh, when he when he said that this morning about um, chains being broken off. I've been feeling all morning that uh, th- there's a. I was at a prison recently in in Texas, and amazing testimonies of what the Lord's done out there in these guys' lives. But one of the testimonies I just haven't been able to get off of my heart. You know, certain things the Lord highlights, and it was the story of a, a guy. He's probably in his 40s who his mother was uh, murdered by a preacher when he was a kid. And he was telling me this story, and as he was telling to me, I could, t- I could tell that he'd forgiven him. And so he was telling me this story, and after he's done, I said, I said, how'd you forgive him? When did you forgive him? He said, I tried. He said, for years I tried to forgive him. He said, but about two years ago, he said, but I just couldn't. He said, two years ago, um, I woke up at three o'clock in the morning, and uh, the Lord spoke to me, and he said, you need to forgive that man. And he said, at three o'clock in the morning, I just forgave him. And he said, I felt something come out of me. He said, I actually felt this thing come out of me. And he said, I'd never felt as free and as light and as full of joy as that moment. And what, what really just struck me was the fact that the Lord just woke him up at 3 a.m. said, it's time to forgive this man. And that he responded to it. And you know, there's a verse that says that, you know, uh, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he's near. And, and the Lord, you know, we, we know this to be true. The Lord's always near and he can, He's always... But there are times when He seems to come and you have to respond to it. And it's almost like our radar's up. And this is what I was feeling all morning even. There, there are just times when um, uh, Tom actually came up to me maybe two weeks ago now and was telling me about something that Bill had prayed about. I'm not a sin issue or anything, but just a, a hurdle he was getting over. And he, he felt grace come when Bill prayed for him. And he was talking to me. I'm like, I have that same hurdle in my life. I said, would you pray for me? just right there I could just feel that like there's a grace here for that and I said would you pray for me and sure enough for two weeks again not a sin issue or anything but for two weeks I felt complete freedom in that thing that um that that Bill had prayed for Tom about that Tom was sharing me about but I recognized in the moment that's also for me and and I, there are just times when our antennas have to be up to the fact that the Lord draws close and says I'll give grace right now for that and we just say, well, that's what I want then. And I want to say, I, I really do actually have a sense that some of the chains he was talking about was forgiveness. That, that the Lord really does want to release grace in this room for this area of forgiveness. It's, it's, it's uh, even this morning for me, I was, as I was ironing, the Lord was bringing up something in my own life about, hey, you, you really need to release that person. And, and uh, I just feel like there's a grace this morning to be able to forgive. And, and that he's just drawn close. We just turn your face to heaven. We just lift your hands up in this place. And we, we want to recognize we're here because we've come to seek the Lord. We're here because we've come to draw near to Him. And, and He's drawn near this morning. And, and I, I, He's saying, listen, seek me while I may be found. He's releasing things in your life in specific areas that we just have to receive and step into. We just hear your voice this morning. We just take a moment and whatever he's speaking to you, that's what we want to respond to. Whenever there are moments, whether it's Sunday morning, whether it's three o'clock in the morning, whenever it is, we want to respond to what he's saying to us. We 
respond to Jesus this morning. We respond to him drawing close to us. The sound of heaven touching earth. The sound of heaven touching earth. The spirit break out. Yeah, come break our walls down. Bring your freedom. Yeah, the spirit break out. forgive, whether it's a habit you've had a hard time breaking, whether it's an attitude that you haven't been able to change, whatever it is that the Lord's drawing close to, we just receive this morning your grace, Jesus. We receive your grace in our life. We say thank you for drawing near in moments. Thank you for presenting yourselves to us. Thank you for drawing close to us, for, for stirring our hearts that there's a window open to seek you. We just received this morning. We just in your own words, lift up your own voice and just tell Jesus, I receive this morning what you want to release. I receive the grace that you're making available this morning. Just in your own words, we just recognize you drawing close, Jesus. We've come to seek your face. 
we've come to encounter your presence this morning. We recognize it's here and we, we just call on your name. Do you agree with that this morning? Yes? All right. Well, Jeremy, thank you. I appreciate it. And Leah. Why don't you uh, say hello to some people and greet them, shake their hands, and give them a hug before you sit down.